makers and welcome back to another studio vlog if you are new here a special welcome to you my name is Joanna and this is stitching the high notes where each week I share what I am currently making whether it be knitting sewing crochet cooking whatever creative rabbit hole I may be going down this week as well as a look behind the scenes of my small business where I make project bags and curate tools for makers like you my hope each week is to encourage you to nourish your own creativity, to live slowly and with intention, and to stitch joy or the high notes into your everyday life. How are you? I hope that you are well, that you are staying warm and safe if you are here in the Northern Hemisphere, especially on the East Coast here in the States and in the Midwest as well. Sending so much love to all of you all and to a lot of my friends who are been dealing with a lot this past week. And if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope that you are staying cool and yeah, just staying cool. <laughs> I've heard from a few of you down in Australia and you are sweltering. So I'm sending AC vibes <laughs> to you all. But I am doing well. I have lots to share with you this week. A big update on the new shawl that I cast on, a new knitted shawl um, that I cast on last week. I did a lot of progress on that as well as some uh, shop news and things that I'm making for the shop uh, and a little bit more just to chat as well as a few scenes from walks outside throughout walks outside throughout the week. I'm going to grab a sip of water, grab a beverage of your choice, your knitting or stitching and let's catch up. I've been chugging water like crazy as of late. It's been very cool and crisp here in Northern California. We're definitely feeling the midwinter, almost spring vibes here. We get a little bit earlier than most folks. I'm mindful of that. I am starting to hear the birds again, which is really exciting. I just started to kind of notice that the last couple of days. But for the most part, the leaves are completely off the tree still. Um, you know, nothing's super blooming, a few little buds here and there for our climate here, but I'm very much looking forward to spring. I'm not, I don't have like the, like the yearning for it because we get it a little bit earlier here, but oh, it was cold this morning on my morning walk. I'll tell you that I definitely was wearing my woolies this morning. Um, I I'm so excited to share the progress on this shawl. I am making the Brigitte shawl, which is by Yufei Liu. It is a pattern that I just looked up on Ravelry because I picked out some stash yarn last week. I'm using, I'll show you the skeins of yarn here first before I show you the progress on the shawl, although you probably will have seen it in the thumbnail already. Um, oh, I don't have my ball bands here. Let me go grab them. All right, I wanna make sure I give you all of the details this week. So I'm using two colors. The first one, I'm gonna be playing a little bit of yarn chicken. <laughs> but these two beautiful colors are in the shawl and I just started using this color this week. 
This is yarn by Plies and Hellhounds, which is a beautiful indie dyer over in Connecticut. Uh, Gabby, who I collaborate quite often with. If you're a longtime viewer, you know that uh, Gabby and I often do mouths together. We did the pumpkin mouth for years and years, and we've uh, been collaborating on some other projects as well. So the first is this gray color. Oop, we'll focus there. Beautiful with hints of the same Merlot color and a little bit of green. And this is called City Raised and Book Fed. Both uh, skeins of yarn are her uh, Superwash Polworth uh, Pole DK and their DK weight. And then the second one is called Sorcier, which is this beautiful Merlot color. And each skein is 100 grams, 246 yards. Love the Polworth. I've, I've used this base before and I really, really enjoy it. And both of these skeins were actually, I just was reminded this week because Gabby just happened to post about it. Um, these skeins were part of a book box that she does a uh, book subscription box themed boxes around a book uh, in her shop. And I collaborated on it last year and uh, provided the very first uh, book sleeve, which I now have carry in the shop, in my shop. And it was for the book, The Vine Witch, which I highly recommend. It's a very lovely read. And both of these skeins were in there, which I couldn't remember last week. So hopefully, Gabby, if you're watching this, I'm gonna reach out. I might need another skein of this. So we'll see how far I can get. Um, but without further ado, let me show you the shawl. It is very difficult to show, so I've probably shown a little bit of it. As stretched out as possible, it is curling up like crazy. Oh, so, so pretty. And I was about, I want to say about right here last week. I already moved my progress keeper up, so I'll try to move this up. This is a progress keeper I actually have in my shop. It's a little lavender blossom is what it said when I got the charm. Um, but somebody mentioned it actually kind of looks like a magnolia flower, which I love. So I'm going to choose to think it's a magnolia flower. And then I finished up this kind of very first section, which was just increasing on uh, one of the rows and then continuing on. On the sides, there is a garter kind of um, a garter edge, if you will. So when I block it out, I'll definitely be pinning that down, which will be lovely. And then I started the color work. Color work. So this is a slip stitch color work pattern. Very, very easy peasy. Um, and I really love it. It's kind of got a Greek vibe to it. You can kind of see the pattern a little bit more far away because there are hints of the same maroon Mer Merlot color in uh, the gray yarn, which is my main color. And then my contrasting color is the Merlot color Sorcier. And it's, oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm just about done with this second section. Uh, and then the pattern, I believe, will kind of go the other way. So these kind of zigzag uh, stitches pattern will go the other way. So I am playing yarn chicken, as you can see. It's, def it's there's a possibility I'll be okay. I don't know. I still, I think I have three more sections to go based on just looking at the photo. And I'm doing this every two rows I switch the color from the main color to the contrasting color. So we'll see. I'm a little annoyed. I wonder if I made this section too big. Like maybe I forgot to increase. I don't think I did. I don't think I forgot to increase on some of the rounds. So I don't know. Maybe my gauge. You're not, you don't usually do like a gauge swatch or anything for a shawl. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge. I'm not too worried about it. At the end of the day, it's just so lovely to have a knitted project and something that's fairly simple and fairly um, quick. So it's something that I can wear uh, when I'm out and about on my walks. I can wear it with my jean jacket and have another shawl, a heavier shawl into my um, 
wardrobe, in my wardrobe of accessories. Because my other larger, warmer shawls are quite large and quite bulky, so I really like to decide, gravitated toward this, first because I wanted to knit with this yarn, second because I wanted to do a little bit of color work, because I wanted to use both colors, and then I wanted a little bit of a lighter, more angular, triangular shawl um, that I don't really have in my wardrobe um, because the other ones are quite large. So I wanted something a little bit lighter, even though it's the same weight of yarn or yeah, it's like DK or worsted or my really big, cozy, huge shawls. So yeah, I, I'm using, I think I neglected to share last week um, that I'm using size US 6 needles for millimeter and I am using my kind of go-to for shawl projects and whenever I have a project that has size 6 needles. Uh, my signature needles, this is by a company called Signature and everything is down below by the way in the show notes in the description box. And I just have one pair of signature needles because they're quite pricey, <laughs> but I really, really love the tips of this particular uh, set or needle that I got. I think I picked these up at a Stitches West convention several years ago. Um, I would love to have a full set because I think they're like butta. I love the shaft and the way that it joins on the needle and I chose the needle that isn't fixed so I can change the cable size here this will like twist off I'm not gonna do it now because I don't want to mess it up but yeah so it's really really great I usually use carbons needles I have a set but I'm saving my pennies for one day getting a new set of chow goo needles I really want to have a set of interchangeable chow goo needles and I have interchangeable carbons. So I'm housing it in my little drawstring bag that I kept for myself from the latest shop update. So let me pop this project back in there and I'll give you a little update on shop news and what's coming up next. huge thank you to everyone who recently purchased some bags with the most recent update. I, uh, on Tuesday, February 1st, put in some new bags to the shop, uh, two collections, uh, sweet hearts, and then some Outlander themed bags. There are still a few bags in the shop from those collections if you are interested. Uh, some needlework pouches, I think a few makers briefcases, just a few drawstring bags for the Outlander bags and uh, a few Notions bags, but it's starting to get a little bit low stock wise. So thank you, thank you. I <laughs> let you know last week that they were gonna be pre-sale because I was uh, waiting on some of the materials which had just arrived like some of them that day when I sat down to chat with you and also I was worried about possibly getting picked up for jury duty I had to call in on Sunday for that luckily thankfully I wasn't picked up although it it you know I would do it if I was called to do it but I was really happy not to <laughs> be doing it uh, so yeah so I'm gonna um, a couple of you've reached out to see it, when sweater bags are gonna be back in the shop or drawstring bags um, and I think I'm gonna do something new because I definitely want to um, do a restock of some kind of the new year lambs bags I got some fuzz from my yarn on my face sorry <laughs> Um, some New Year Lambs bags, which was a collection that I had in January. By the way, happy February. I neglected to say happy February to you all. Um, so I'm going to try something new this week because I do have the fabric already for the March collections, which will be going up on March 1st. Uh, some, it, I'll, I'll let you know it has to do with bees and butterflies and getting ready for spring and those bags I have all of the materials and hands for that so those bags will be ready to ship but I thought I would do something a little bit new and offer some further out 
pre-orders um, for collections that you all really want to take part in. So I'm going on February 10th. I through February 15th, uh, I am going to have pre-order listings for the New Year Lambs bags, as well as all, maybe some of the sweetheart bags. Let me know down below if you'd be interested in that because there's still some in stock, so I'm not sure, but maybe I'll put some drawstring and sweater bags only in the shop pre-orders for those. And those pre-orders will be true pre-orders and um, will be shipped, made and shipped within four to six weeks because I will uh, order the fabric based on what is ordered and then make those up for you all. So I'm going to try that out. Um, I'm just kind of interested to see and uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. That'll be up on those listings will be up on February 10th and will be closed at the end of February 15th. Uh, so nice wide window there. I'll of course post about it on Instagram as well as on the newsletter. And I also, for those of you who aren't on Instagram, I'm not on there that much these days. Uh, YouTube here is best in the newsletter to chat with me as well as email, but I've started to kind of post the majority of things that I post on Instagram, plus a little bit more over on a blog uh, section of the website as well. And you can always subscribe to that through RSS feed as well. So yeah, some exciting things uh, for the shop. It is now the weekend. It's actually Saturday right now. Um, and it's my big sewing time because I have a main job throughout the week that has definitely been taking up more and more time as it should. And so my sewing time for the shop is primarily on the weekend. So I'm getting ready. It's the morning of Saturday right now. So I'm getting ready to uh, kind of really dig in and work on all of the bags that you order that'll be going out on Monday. My mom, if you might be hearing a little bit of buzzing, she's texting me right now. My family is actually coming down. Um, my sister and my nephew are going to go to the city and have some adventures there. And my mom is going to be here with me. She hasn't been um, here since last summer. So I'm really excited to see her and to host her. And she's offered to help me out a little bit. So she's going to help me out with a few of the uh, kind of processes and things as I'm making your bags as well as I think some longer term projects that I keep putting off or keep getting kind of put down the priority list so that'll be that'll be very helpful so yay. The other things I've been up to this week, I've just really been focusing on knitting and getting to the color work part of that before I spend the weekend sewing. And that'll be kind of where my creative focus is this week. I just went to the grocery store and I have some new recipes that I want to try out this coming week. So I'll be sure to share any keepers with you. Um, I did start to add entries into that recipe journal that I shared with you all the last couple of weeks so that's really lovely to have and I've heard from some of you who have either gotten that journal or have, or have started that practice as well which is exciting um, and what else I've been watching TV <laughs> I did a huge clear out of my pantry um, and my freezer yesterday actually and I'm a little bit sore <laughs> embarrassed to say but I hadn't done it in a while I tried to do it about every six months or so and and clear out things that have expired or um that just aren't looking that good and but I hadn't done it in over a year for a variety of reasons and I had some spices that you know just were really past the time like they were probably okay some of them but they were it just was time to kind of clear it out uh, and some stuff in my freezer that needed to be cleared out as well and then just reorganize things and wipe down shelves and countertops and stuff and 
it feels so good. Like it just felt so good. And especially to do it before I went to the grocery store and kind of restocked a few things. Um, but I just needed that. I needed that to kind of clear my creative space, especially before a full weekend of sewing and, um, yeah, I just, I don't know about you all. I feel like I talk about this all the time or it's just, I'm very mindful of it, but I'm definitely the type of person where I need to have a very clean, orderly, it's the Virgo in me, <laughs> a clean, orderly space before I dive into a full creative project. And this February, I am going to be sewing garments for myself. So doing some sewing outside of shop sewing, which will be lovely. And I want to kind of, I'm starting to prepare um, the ideas and how I want to, um, what exactly I want to create for this year's holiday boxes, which I'll be chatting about more very soon because those will be up uh, in the shop for pre-order probably in a month and a half or so what I'm thinking so more on that later um but yeah some other kind of creative projects and stuff and I just needed to kind of clear kind of the air it's it's hard the stuff that's behind cabinets that can get forgotten but then when you start to kind of realize it's there it feels like it's like sitting in the middle of your living room <laughs> Oh, maybe that's just me. Let me know if I'm not alone in this. But it felt really, really good to kind of clear everything out and start fresh. And I cleared, I cleaned my window sills. I just went like full throttle the last week and, and it felt really good. So I'm going to stop yammering. I hope that you all had a wonderful week again. That here is to the week ahead. I hope your projects are going well. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Have a good one. Bye.